Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this time, uh, 1954 Chevy 3100 short bed uh, half ton pickup truck. Currently for sale on eBay and another couple of sites. This truck has uh, recently come to the UK from a high altitude dry state. It's come from New Mexico in the Midwest where it uh, languished for a number of years uh, in the sunshine. It is actually a very solid truck because it's come from a, a, a high elevation state. It's free of rot. It's got a surface rust on it, but it's got no rot. Chassis and everywhere else, cab floors, cab corners, kick panels, all that sort of stuff, where they are prone to rot out is, uh, is, is just rust free. Solid and lovely. It's all original. It's got its original 235 cubic inch 3.7 straight six. Uh, coupled to an original three on the three on the tree um, uh, column shift transmission, all original. We've done stuff to it to, to make it start, run, drive, and stop. So it's had a new carb, it's had a new starter motor, ignition switch, rebuilt radiator, that sort of thing. Um, it now starts really, runs really well. It's got very good oil pressure. It's, uh, you'll hear it when I start it, but it's, it's, it could do with an exhaust. It's got holes in the exhaust in various places, so it blows a bit. But it runs very well. It holds good oil pressure. It's a very quiet engine. Nothing wrong with the engine gearbox. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, the old girl might be a little bit uh, cosmetically challenged, as you can see. It was originally a green truck, and at some point somebody's painted it cream or white or whatever you want to call it. Um, but it is, uh, it's crying out to be st restored really, um, it's got dings, dents, that sort of thing, but it's uh, generally a, a <laughs> nice genuine old truck really. Um, the glass, most of the glass is damaged, the cab glass, the door glass is just flat laminated so it's just cut, a, make a template and take it to your glazier and uh, he'll cut you some. Uh, the screen is a rounded screen. Um, so that needs replacing. Um, so really, the truck it it, it really just, it's been sort of it's been uh, made so it just I've driven it around. It changes the gears as it should. Everything works. Clutch starts starts runs drives and stops as I say. Obviously, to take it to the next level to get it road legal to so it's usable. Um, it needs going through and uh, the brakes just checking out properly and the electrics and everything else. Still on its a six volt, still on its foot starter. Um, it's not been messed around with in any way, basically. So uh, if you wanted to uh, maintain and retain that, then uh, wonderful. If you wanted to do it or convert it to a 12 volt, which is simple enough, then you could do that too. But um, otherwise, just uh, you can use it or restore it or whatever. But um, it is what it is. We'll just... There are many differences between this, the two, um, the 54 stroke 55 first series truck and the earlier ones, 47 to 53s. Um, there's the split screen on the earlier ones, obviously the windscreen uh, split in two and the grill's different and the engine's different. This is a 235 full oil pressure engine um, rather than the 216, which was a splash oil lubrication. So this is considered a better engine. Um, the interior is different, the dash is different, as you can see from this truck, the, uh, it's, an original, it's an original seat cover I would suggest because it's the original um, horsehair fill-in, it's the original um, roof lining, as you can see it's just surface rust, there's no rot, the kick panels everywhere else, doors perfect, it's got the original liners etc etc look around the bed I've just put this piece of uh, board in it because obviously the original's rotted out let's see what she'll do that is cold So as you can hear, the exhaust, but 
that just purrs, idles, lovely. Very, very nice. Quiet as can be that engine. No valve noise. Uh, we've pressure test, um, not pressure tested it. We've um, uh, compression tested it on all cylinders. It's doing 110, between 110 and 120 on all cylinders. So it's a good, healthy engine. The oil pressure maintains good oil pressure hot or cold so it's the end apart from just recommissioning i.e. new plugs perhaps leaves distributed cap that sort of thing coil look you can see it's the original coil uh, we've replaced the hoses and whatnot on the radiator um, apart from that it's really a healthy engine so you've, you've no need to worry about any of that just do that to it um, as you can hear it just it just runs absolutely beautifully doesn't smoke runs very very well indeed. Just beautiful quiet. Yeah, cracking engine. So as I say this is a 235 cubic inch 3.7 but it's a full oil pressure engine so they only fitted this to, to uh, the first series fat fender truck for the 54 and the 55 year. Um, prior to that, they were the 216, which is uh, quite a different engine. So there you have it. As I say, it's for sale. Um, give me a call if you're interested. And there she is. It will be supplied with uh, a V5, and so it will be registered for the road with a new V5 and uh, plates fitted to it. So it will be a registered road legal vehicle. But as I say, it will require further work to make it uh, a usable jump in and drive, drive it down the road. But she's all there, she starts, runs, drives and stops, she runs very well, tinker about with it, mess about with it, she'll be good to go. Thanks for watching, bye bye.